Good evening. I am Ajuri Ingalali, and you are most welcome to Africa's Future Leaders. <laughs> On this edition of the program, we introduce you to a few young leaders from around the continent as they share their unique experiences in the fight for a developed homeland. Amongst a diverse group of young African leaders, one young South African is changing his region, one community at a time. How can we go about creating models for ingraining ethical culture in our society? Models to build ethical leadership. So this is a topic that I care deeply about because I think about how many more lives would have been improved if it was not for the resources that are lost due to unethical practices. It's a topic that I care deeply about because I think about how many roads, how many hospitals could have been built if it was not for the resources that are lost through bribes. It is a subject that I think you should care about because you can think with me how many employment and economic opportunities could have been created for your brothers for your sisters, for your communities, if it was not for the resources that we are losing through corruption. You see, you can take any ethical value, be it transparency, be it honesty, be it integrity. These are not new concepts for Africa. These are not any different from the stories that our forefathers will tell us about as we sat around the fire in, in, in a winter night about how we can become better people. It's not new concepts, and they're not any different from the stories that Hetman told as they tended for cattle. After all, it is the concept of Ubuntu that was built in Africa, a concept that encompasses all these values. But then we have to ask ourselves, if we speak so much about Ubuntu, how is it that our societies are not reflecting the kind of ethical values that we want to see? How is it that increasingly we are seeing dishonesty in society? How is it that we are increasingly seeing cases of those that we've entrusted with power not wanting to be accountable? There are myriad of answers to these questions that we can take days to dissect. But that is not my interest. My interest is about how we can start to think about solutions to help us to rebuild the kinds of societies that we want that will reflect the ideal ethical culture that will result in a prosperous Africa. The ideals that Nkwame Nkrumah, ideals that Petrus Lumumba, and all the founding fathers of Africa would have thought about at the rebirth of Africa. It is the solutions that I want you to join with me and, and implement as we go back to our countries. One of the projects that I'll be implementing that I'm hoping all of you can be ambassadors in is ethics at schools. So schools house the, the, the future of our Africa. It's where we have the young, the vibrant, the energetic. So imagine how much we can achieve if we can start to infuse the ethical values to what our, our learners learn at school. There are three aspects to this program that I'm hoping that each of you will find expression and want to participate in. The first is mentorship. We can never discount the value of mentorship. Young people, learners, that they can have someone who reflect the kind of ethical values that they want to see in themselves today, but also in future as they become professionals. I'm hoping to see you signing up as mentorship in this program. 
I'm hoping to see you becoming ethics mascot for the schools in your society. The second part of what this program will look at is creating ethics charters for schools. Here I'm not talking about plagues that lie hanging on the wall that have no connection with anyone. I'm talking about learner-driven conversations where learners can come together and talk about what is it that they value the most. What is it that they want to value the most in future as they become professionals? The last part of this is how we infuse these into curriculum. I'm calling on you, the education experts that are here. How do we build curriculum for Africa that is underpinned on ethical values? I'm calling on you technologists that are here as South Africa and the other countries are digitalizing their education, giving tablets to students to create game apps that will make kids and learners to be familiar with the concept that we speak about. Does it sound far-fetched? Does it sound like a mountain to climb? Does it sound impossible? Perhaps. But we can look at what Nelson Mandela said. He said, it always seems impossible until it's done. And I know, I know that it can be done because I look at each and every one of you, I see the resolve, the courage, the determination inside of you to make Africa a better Africa, an ethical Africa. And it begins with me and you. Thank you.